Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to a new video. Now, today, we're talking about... So loud! Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to a new video. Uh, I know it's been a little while since I've uploaded, so today I wanted to do something kind of fun. We're gonna be doing a muzzle flash VFX tutorial. So there's so many ways you can accomplish a good muzzle flash effect, and they range from very easy to very involved. I'm gonna kind of show you guys a middle ground. That, you know, it's not too difficult to do. It's only gonna take a couple minutes, but it's gonna get you a pretty realistic looking effect, in my opinion. So today we're gonna jump into Premiere and After Effects, and I'm gonna show you how I made that clip at the beginning of the video. Now, aside from the actual effect itself, there's a few things you can do when recording to sort of help sell the effect. One is recoil. As a prop in this shot, I'm using what's called a gas blowback gun, which is a gas powered airsoft gun that shoots little plastic pellets. And instead of, you know, shooting little plastic pellets, I just leave it empty but still fill it up with the gap. So when I take a shot, the slide on the gun actually does move back, which adds some realism because that's what a real gun would do. And although it's not the same as if I was shooting a real gun, it does add a little bit of recoil because there is an actual shot being fired, even though it's just a blank. Another thing that comes into play here is sound effects, and I'm gonna be adding a couple sound effects because sound, really, sound can really help ground your visual effects and make them feel more realistic. So with all that being said, Let's jump into, we're gonna start in Premiere and then move over to After Effects. So I'm gonna start by bringing my clip. I'm just gonna drag it onto my timeline. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to a new video. All right, so I trimmed down the clip to what I want. So we're gonna keep this in Premiere because we're gonna come back to this and add sound effect. But for now, we're gonna right click, go, go up to replace with After Effects composition and that's gonna use Adobe Dynamic Link and it's gonna bring this clip into After Effects. All right, so now we've got a clip here in After Effects completely unedited. I'm going to go to the part where Right here is when I shoot the gun. So as you can see, the gun does add some realism to it because as you can see, the slide moves here. And that's the thing with muzzle flashes is the actual flash effect is only gonna be one to two frames tops. Uh, any longer than that, it's gonna look fake. So we've got a shot lined up right here. This is where I want the muzzle flash to be. I'm gonna drop it right on top of our footage like this. So as you can see, this effect is, it's transparent, but it's just going to be, so you see how quickly when I play it, how quickly that goes by. It's one frame and then there is a little bit of smoke you can just barely see it we're going to take this muzzle flash i'm going to scale it up just a little bit so even if i play back now you know we, we're starting to get somewhere but now to make this blend into our scene a little more we're going to go to our blending mode you can either do add or screen depending on the shot so let's add that looks kind of blown out let's try screen i like that better it doesn't it's not just completely white technically you could leave it at that if you just wanted a quick and easy effect you weren't too worried about the realism of it you could leave it at that but i'm gonna go one step further i want the muzzle flash to affect the scene around me now if you plan this out beforehand you can have someone standing outside of the shot with a light ready to plug in and out really quickly or turn off and on really quickly to say quickly light up my face. So that way when I'm putting in the visual effect, the gun is already going to light up my face when I do the shot. Now I didn't have anyone helping me with this, so that wasn't really an option for me, but if you can get some practical lighting in there, that's always going to look way better than any kind of artificial light we're gonna add in After Effects. I'm gonna do two layers here. I'm gonna make one adjustment layer and I'm gonna add an exposure adjustment. I'm gonna increase the exposure slightly and increase the offset slightly. Now you can use keyframes to set this, but since it's gonna be just the one frame, I'm just going to do this. So now the muzzle flash goes off and the screen lights up a bit. So now I'm going to add one more adjustment layer and we are going to add a curves. Now I'm going to first just brighten this up by quite a bit. So I'm gonna take my pen tool, just zoom in a bit here, and I'm gonna create some masks on where the light would be hitting my face. It doesn't have to be perfect where, again, the nice thing about this being a muzzle flash is we're not going to be doing any keyframing because it only lasts for one frame. So it's going to be something like that, which obviously looks terrible, but now we're going to go into our mask settings here and crank up the feathering. Then I'm going to make one more mask that is lighting up my shirt. By the way, I'm not breaking any laws here. I do live in Canada where you legally don't have to have an orange tip on the end of a airsoft BB gun. So I'm sure someone's gonna be like, that's illegal, That you look, you can't have it look like a real gun. Uh, yep, I can, which is, I don't know, you can debate the ethics of that if you want. But in this scenario, it kind of works out. So we're gonna make that adjustment layer down to just one frame again. 
So this whole effect occurs on one frame, minus, I don't know if you can see over here, there's a little bit of smoke that kind of blows out of the gun. So we can quit After Effects and head back into Premiere, where, as you can see, there's our effect right there. So this sound wave right here is the, the real gunshot sound that the airsoft gun's making. I don't want that in there, because I want to replace it with an actual gun sound effect, which is going to help sell the visual effect. So we're going to just drop that down with some keyframes right before, and go right to after, and then slowly fade it back in, and back to zero. So now we have this. We're talking about... And my excellent acting skills. So we're gonna start by bringing in this. Uh, I have this Glock sound effect here. I, this is a this airsoft gun is modeled after a Glock. So if I'm trying to be realistic here, uh, this would be the sound effect to use. Now to try and match the tone of the the room a little bit, I'm gonna add some EQ and just kind of mess around with it a bit until I like what I hear. You might not even need to use EQ. I'm just trying to get the sound effect to match my audio recording better, so it doesn't sound like I placed a sound effect in the shot. So you could definitely play around with this more and get like a closer sound Talking effect here. But I kind of like that. Uh, and now I'm going to, for a little bit of realism, I guess you could say, uh, I'm going to add some ear ringing sound effect to make it sound like, you know, it was really loud and it hurt my ears. So I'm going to add an EQ onto my main audio and just kind of cut out the areas where my voice is and drop it down a bit so it's going to sound kind of muffled. I'm going to do that and then I'm going to add my ear ringing sound effect here. So, and I'm also going to fade that in by a lot. So now all I'm gonna do now is add an adjustment layer with some LUT, just fine tune it a little bit. So I'm not really gonna do too much with the color grading here, but that's just before and after. Today, we're talking about And there we go. And again, any effects you can do in camera, like making sure you get good recoil, good reactions to your gunshots, maybe some real lighting on your face when you fire the gun. All of those things are going to make your effects look even better. So if you guys enjoyed this tutorial and you learned something, hit that like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. I've got plenty of videos like this on my channel if you want to stick around. You can also find links to all the equipment I use in my videos in the description. I still get those questions all the time. People DMing me, what camera do you use? Guys, every video, it's in the description. And you can also find my social media links while you're down there. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one. Just for the record, this is not a real gun. This is an airsoft gun. Uh, it is also not loaded. There is nothing in the little magazine here. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna screw this up. You see that? Normally little BBs go right there. Chamber is clear. Welcome back to a new video. Now, today we're talking about